It's post time for Woodbine's ninth. The ninth race from Woodbine in Toronto. Here comes the second elimination of the Breeders' Crown 2001 two-year-old Colton Gelding Pace. And they're off from the outside. Pacific Titan, like a jet, has gone to the lead. Million Dollar Cam is up extremely fast. Western Shooter will close up at the inside third. And there goes Ashley's big guy to move in from fourth. If I had your luck to race along in fifth, King Tut Pen came in sixth at the outside. Yankee Sensation left in seventh. Red River Hanover is eighth on the inside. Then Future Treasure is ninth. Image of Dawn was tenth and last, leaving none faster than Pacific Titan into the first turn. Ashley's big guy still chasing up on the outside. Million Dollar Cam took in from third. Western Shooter is fourth. If I had your luck was fifth and King Tut Pan came in sixth and parked. The opening quarter, 26 and four. Still unsettled on the front end. Pacific Titan. Ashley's big guy could not get past and Million Dollar Cam is driving through to close that pocket position. Western Shooter moves through fourth on the inside. If I had your luck is fifth. King Tut Pan came in. Overland all the way from sixth. Red River Hanover seventh on the outside. Yankee Sensation is eighth. Future Treasure has paid Way back there in ninth. Image of Dawn was tenth. Pacific Titan had the half in 55 and 4. He's trying to get rid of the parked out Ashley's big guy. The pocket sitter is Million Dollar Cam. On the inside, trapped in from fourth at this stage is Western Shooter and uh, Overland all the way from fifth. King Tutpan came in is considering the three wide option. Now up into the race is Red River Hanover, sixth at the outside. If I had your luck from seventh, eighth on the outside on that final turn, Future Treasure. Then Yankee Sensation and Image of Dawn, Pacific. Titan 124 and 3, the three quarter time. They're in the stretch in the second Breeders' Crown elimination. The show has been Pacific Titan. Here comes Red River Hanover. Million Dollar Cam squeezed through at the inside, but it's an overwhelming victory for Ontario's Pacific Titan gate to wire in the second elimination. There's the entry, tight for second and third, the entry. Then back to fourth for If I Had Your Luck and Western Shooter was fifth. Pacific Titan 152 and and one. Seven Pacific Titan returned as the ninth race winner. Cam Luck, two-year-old Bay Colt from Flatfoot Floozy, owned by John Grant of Hornby, trained by Scott McEnany, driven to victory by Paul McDonnell. Four and 11 this year, 152 and one in his Breeders' Crown elimination, Pacific Titan. Well, two horses in the uh, Breeders' Crown Elimination so far and two horses advancing to the final for owner John Grant and looking forward to uh, better delight tomorrow night. First of all, John, Pacific Titan, a real strong effort here tonight. It was. It was a great effort, and Paul gave him a great drive. Now, you bought this colt last year. Uh, obviously, what attracted you to him, John? I know you helped Scott pick the colts out. Yeah. Well, I like this confirmation, and, uh, of course, I couldn't help but like the mother, so mm -hmm. that's how I bought him. Now, tomorrow night, uh, the big fella's back in town. Better's delight. Mm -hmm. uh, real good right now, eh, John? Yes, he is. He's real good. Looking forward to him tomorrow night. How's he feeling? Is he ready to race? He's ready to race, so we'll see what happens. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, John, and uh, we're going to make the draw for the two-year-olds in a few minutes here. The best of luck in the draw with Pacific Titan and OU guys. Thank you. Okay, let's sw switch over to uh, Paul McDonnell now, the winning driver. Paul, you said this horse got off the gate just like that tonight. Yeah, he did. He had the racetrack early, and I think that was uh, basically the key to the race right there. As far as far as the colt goes, they, he's an Ontario bred Cam Luck, but they can compete with those American breds right now. Yeah, I'm I'm not surprised. Uh, the way this uh, program has come along, uh, you know, balanced images in, on the trotting side, and now Cam Luck and a few others on the pacing side, uh, they can compete and go with anyone in the world right now. Okay, Paul, you got off the gate quick. You're uh, coming for home here, top of the stretch. Talk about the stretch drive with Pacific Titan. Well. Third quarter was fairly easy for him. I didn't really have to use him that hard, and uh, I just pulled the plugs top of the lane, and uh, he just responded, and uh, you know he was he was strong right to the wire. I guess sometimes you need a bit of luck, and uh, you've actually only been driving this horse for three stars now, so it uh, could be a good payday for you next week. Yeah, yeah, he's been good to me so far. I mean, we've just got started with him, so uh, yeah, hopefully it'll keep up. And who's the, uh, the young girl here? Uh, it's my daughter Jenna. She's uh, my good luck charm, and uh, she came along tonight and. Uh, Gave us some luck. So I take it you're bringing her next Friday. She'll be here. 
Okay, Paul McDonnell, winning driver with Pacific Tight. We also talked to the owner, John Grant. Let's now take a look at the prices for the night. It's now official. In the inquiry, it was ruled there was a violation. From the inquiry, there was a racing rules violation. 723 has now been made official. The entry of one Red River Hanover and one a million dollar cam finishing second and third were placed back because of the rules violation. Number two, if I had your luck, is placed up to second. Western Shooter placed up to third and the entry placed back because of the stretch drive rules violation. 723 is 